To the pain means this. If we duel and you win, death for me. If we duel and I win, life for you, but life on my terms. The first thing you lose will be your feet, the left, then the right, below the ankle, oh, then, your, so good. then your hands at the wrist, next your nose, no smell of dawn for you, followed by your tongue, deeply cut away, not even a stump left, and then your left eye, your ears you keep, so that every shriek of every child at seeing your hideousness will be yours to cherish, every babe that weeps in fear at your approach, every woman that cries, dear God, what <laughs> is that thing, will reverberate forever within your perfect ears. That is what... That is what to know pain means. It means that I leave you to live in anguish, in humiliation, in freakish memory until you can stand it no more. So there you have it, pig. There you know, you miserable, vomitous mass. And I say this now, <laughs> and live or die, it's up to you. Drop your sword. Wow. Right. That's a great one. Uh, it's... Princess Bride, so yes. good. So oh. good. When he Harry calls him a Elways <laughs> just delivers in that scene when he's like, dear God, what is dear that God thing? thing? Just every syllable, every diction in that monologue is just s delicious. It's stunning. <laughs> it tastes, it was, it was actually fun to say. It was fun to, yeah, and, and, and did then, a good job too. And then he's like, ah, he was bluffing. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Anyways, welcome back to yet another episode of Bump That. Bump That episode 36. Uh, if you've never listened before, hello, this is your host, Ileana. And we've got Brian in this corner. Oh, yeah. We've got KT in this corner. And we are siblings <laughs> who have a love for nerding out and decided to share it all with you people. And here you are listening. How is everyone? Brian, how are you feeling? You've got uh, oh, a I'm heavy a heart today. I'm a little nervous today, actually. Um, thanks to all the subscribers we have on YouTube. Because of that, I am today getting a portion of my chest waxed. Ooh, Woo! He sure is. That'll be so exciting. Um, he's he's going to channel his inner, um, what's his name? Oh, my gosh, from 40-year-old version. Oh, Kelly Clarkson! <laughs> Steve Carell. It's going to yes. be so great. Oh, um, so stay tuned for that. First, we're going to do a rundown of the news, and then we're not going to have any segments, uh, individual segments this week because we're going to replace oh. that with Brian's uh, horrible screams. And then <laughs> uh, Katie has some good Nicktoon quotes for the chunk today that brian and i will have to guess which nicktoon the quote resides from so uh without further ado let's jump into the news uh with um some sadness this week actually on the 29th ed asner the voice of carl Fredrickson in up passed away at the amazing age of 91 so yeah and he was obviously known for a lot more than uh up, he was also in the uh, Mary Tyler Moore show, if I have that right. Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, his uh, legacy spans decades, and so it's it's truly a, a loss. Uh, he was also uh, Santa Claus in Elf. Oh, he is that right? Awesome I didn't know that. Yeah, he was an awesome oh. Santa Claus. Yeah. Awesome. Um, well, in uh, I guess happier news related to up um i saw the um trailer for a new um short for disney plus called doug days revolving around doug the dog from up and i think it looks terrific now it was i guess he must have passed away right after i'm i'm thinking completing all the shorts because that is definitely his voice in the trailer right. as carl Fredrickson. so Man, what a what a way to go! What a what a legacy to leave at the very end. Um, and it looks like it's going to be a really stellar show. The animation looks dynamic. It looks gorgeous. So go check out that trailer if you haven't seen it. That's Doug Days. And uh, our our hearts go out to Ed Asner's friends and family who are having to 
deal with the loss of such an amazing person and uh, talent. So definitely thoughts and prayers to Ed Asner. Um, in other news, a new generation of the Wonder Years is coming to ABC. That's exciting. Yes. Um, so this time and this uh, reboot of the show, the classic show with Fred Savage, Daniel Stern narrating, um, uh, Winnie Cooper, such a hottie. Anyways, it's going to be a, <laughs> an African-American family in the 60s dealing with all the tumultuousness of the 60s, the counterculture, um, civil rights, all that. But it's, you know, a kid coming into, uh, you know, um, coming into age 12 years old and girls are and all that good stuff um it looks like from if you've seen the trailer it looks awesome the narrator this time is going to be don Cheadle, uh of uh marvel fame and so many 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 other wonderful projects um so the trailer made it look good it's got that classic uh kind of cringy humor of a kid who's you know it's going to be embarrassed by all the different changes his body is going to go through. And, um, yeah, it looks like a great show. I think it, this is a, be a good one for the whole family to watch. So. Good. It looks very wholesome, I, and I appreciate that. I think, um, you know, I think that's what a lot of TV is missing is some wholesome TV. We do need some wholesome, like yes, family, gosh. family TV. Uh, and uh, sort of as a quick segue, um, Wesley's been watching a lot of Young Sheldon. And when I first heard of Young Sheldon, I thought, oh my gosh, what is this? But, you know, I actually think that's a good show to watch as well. It's not too bad, actually. I've seen a few episodes, and it's it could be a lot worse. It's yes, not bad absolutely. at all. Yes, absolutely. So, you know, white people, black people, let's all have fun. Let's all have clean TV. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of clean TV, some strange news. Pokemon TV is coming to an app on the Nintendo Switch. You can watch... Uh, Pokemon episodes from select seasons, spanning all the way from the original series to the latest series, uh, which is Journeys. Um, and there will be other Pokemon content as well, like shorts. They've been putting out uh, a lot of um, sh uh, animated shorts. Obvi animated, you know, obviously. Like those really weird uh, different animation styles. Yeah, di They've had like these different styles for each episode. And they've been really cool. Um, but that's really interesting that the Switch is allowing this to happen, uh, a Pokemon TV, when they haven't had any other streaming except for Hulu come on the Switch so far. So, like, for them not to have, you know, Netflix or, uh, gosh, any other streaming sites. I mean, they have YouTube. Uh, that's something. But YouTube and Hulu was where it stopped. So... Um, I wonder if this will mean that we're going to get, you know, maybe a web browser. Maybe we're going to get Netflix. Who knows? Um, but that's interesting. And for them to also say select episodes, that's also another strange thing. So what does that mean? Select episodes. Like who is dictating which episodes need to be selected? But that's are a like, good question. <laughs> these only. Not those. Just these. Like who is making that decision? So yeah, not all the episodes. It's not like Netflix where they just have all these seasons but um it would be good to go back to seasons that are not on netflix such as black and white um oh my gosh uh the i don't really like the the orange islands uh i don't like that season that's like season three and but you know you can still watch some of those episodes um so that is pokemon awesome next news is horizon forbidden west finally has a release date my Yay! goodness this was announced forever ago and now we have a release date february 18th 2022 for the ps5 hopefully Exclusively. you guys can go find a ps5 yeah they're they're coming out in full swing uh playstation is uh from what i'm hearing they're releasing you know their numbers like they should um as far as the ps5 goes i think there were some changes made to the design um in fact there have been because uh they, i've heard some buzz about a cooling fan or or something that they changed that uh isn't necessarily a good thing that they changed but i don't have any information really to share upon that um but nonetheless 
uh, there are PlayStation 5s in production, and so as of right now, uh, Sony Entertainment is releasing uh, Horizon Forbidden West in, dang, what was it, February? February 18th, 2022. I, I don't foresee them uh, changing that date. I don't see them pushing it back any. Um, but, you know, it's not unusual for that to happen. But let's let's cross our fingers and hope that comes out. What makes me sad is that it is, as of right now, a PS5 exclusive. So I have to wait to play it. But boy, does it look good. It looks really good from what I've seen. So I'm jealous. That's awesome. I'm excited that it has a finally uh, release date. I just need a release date for God of War, my goodness. I just need the yeah, new God boy. of War game to have Give a release date. Me. Give it to me. All right. And last in our breaking news, we flew by these because ugh, you guys are in for a treat after this. <laughs> uh, lastly, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has confirmed this morning that Jungle Cruise 2 is going to be a thing. The original cast is confirmed to be returning as well. So we will have Emily Blunt. Uh, and the original cast, and the brother, whoever else was in the movie. Though no release date or other news to what medium it will be released on. Is it going to go straight to Disney Plus or is it going to be in the theaters? That has yet to be confirmed. So we'll have to wait for some further news on that. But the whole cast is back together. And I was wondering what you guys thought about it. Because um, you have both seen uh, Jungle Cruise. I have not. Do you think that they left room for a sequel? Yes. Oh, I was going to say, meh. <laughs> Is a sequel needed? Probably no. not. <laughs> but but uh, is there? can they go find some other adventure, some other treasure, go yeah. down a different jungle? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not really too keen on them continuing, I guess. Maybe they'll go to the concrete jungle of New York. Oh, my oh. goodness. That would be so <laughs> trashy. Oh, no. I don't know. I mean, at at the end, they leave it really open ended that there will be more adventures. So yeah, they, I just please get a good script writer. Um, the star power is there, Dwayne Johnson. Um, and, and then also they need to you know yeah. tone it down with the CGI effects. They were just really not that great. I, but I feel like they're going to do it like Pirates of the Caribbean, where they're just going to crank up the CGI even more. As you went through that series, the, they just cranked up that CGI till it was just like, the, nothing I'm looking at is real. You know? That's so unfortunate because, gosh, we have so much advanced technology where, sure, okay, if you're going to use CGI, at least, you know, get the, the hiring hands to make it look realistic, you know, not so... Yeah, Eight. we're not really in a jungle, are we? We're we're in a sound <laughs> stage in, you know, Atlanta or LA or something. Yeah. So. But oh. you know, I, I think that's such a travesty. Um I I've always been a firm believer in filming on location if you can. Um you know, I just got done watching Hidalgo and it's been years since I've seen Hidalgo and they are legit in the desert. Those people Hidal are Hidalgo who? Those people are about to die in the desert. I don't think they had a good time filming that. But nonetheless, it was effective. It did not look fake at all. I don't know. I just got finished watching the extended edition of The Two Towers with Hunter last night. And I can say that filming on location, it's good stuff. Even it's though more there was expensive. A scene, it's difficult. Even though you know, there is the I don't know. scene It's where more worth it, filmed. though. That scene where they're in the swamp... That was not filmed on location. That was in a well, parking lot. <laughs> that's why that's why you figure out a way to get the best of both worlds, you know? Right? Because while the background is green screen, you know, they're still in a, you know, they try to make it as real as possible. You the, know? the foliage still came from an actual swamp. They Me just, foliage. They, yeah. they stole the foliage <laughs> and then they put it in a parking lot. <laughs> so at least they you know, worked with what they've got, but they're not like in a sound studio or uh, some set. Uh, I don't know. I just want some more, I want some more real, you know, or practical effects. Gosh, I love practical effects. Ugh, bring them back. Bring back, bring back more practical effects. The Jeez, CGI is just so over Child the of the Muppets. 80s or something? Okay, I mean, kind of. I took um, a class in college on uh, visual effects and 
my gosh, just those movies from the 70s and 80s using practical yeah, effects. Well, they are legendary. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, <laughs> what, what are you going to do? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so look, he's, he's look. stalling for time because he's about no, to have some. Listen, nah. <laughs> no, I totally agree. I'm totally on board with what you're saying, but you're talking to uh industry that is like if we the farther we can stay from practical effects the better boo you know? boo the that's how it prep. is you know can't stand it that's why boo, i like that's why i like those um you know from the heart movies like this was the blood sweat and tears from the heart to make it not we're just gonna make it for some money <laughs> so but uh, that is it for the news, and the time uh, has come. <laughs> Are you starting to sweat? Are you starting to get the chills? Uh, assisting me today with this operation is my lovely wife, Joanna. Say hello, Joanna. Say hi in the microphone. Hello. Hello, Joanna. Hi, Joanna. They're saying hi uh, to you. Okay. So, <laughs> Joanna, we're going to be uh, waxing the chest. Again, thank you all to the subscribers uh, who went out of your way. Yeah. To, uh, subscribe to the show thank you so much we don't know what we're gonna do to get to the next tier maybe we'll figure it out but maybe thank it'll you be so somebody much. else maybe it'll be katie maybe it'll be me who have to sacrifice please something. <laughs> share the show uh like the show give a thumbs up uh share with your friends if especially if you guys like shows podcasts talking about tv movies comics all that junk but anyways today we're gonna wax this guy's chest, baby. Oh yeah. I, I feel like your mother should be watching this. She should oh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna record this and hopefully <laughs> upload it somewhere. Uh, maybe on the YouTube channel if I can fit yeah. it in. Um, yeah. So yeah. just just get <laughs> cut, tone it down. Oh my gosh. So, so hopefully you guys can all so watch this visually as well. We will also give a play by play as best we can. So right now, as we're recording, I am shirtless. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, my nips are in the wind here. He's looking like um, Gaston over here, Harry Chess. Oh my gosh, my nips are in the wind. <laughs> Anyways, so Joanna picked up a product at the Walmart Sally Hansen Wax Strips. Oh my gosh. Hair Remover Wax Strip Kit. It Hashtag has, not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, the box has this beautiful lady with very smooth moisturized skin and everything but if you were to look at me you'd be like oh my god what is that thing <laughs> <laughs> see how see what i did there i brought oh, it back to uh, earlier yeah, yeah, okay so apparently Joanne's, all right she's gonna all right we got the mic here let's bring it up close oh, she man. is gonna be putting she's gonna be putting this <laughs> oh god this is gonna hurt <laughs> I think I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> All right, wax. she's warming up the wax. She's warming up the wax. Oh, I'm kind of bloated too. So my bloated tummy is all. So, okay, so this warm, earlier wax, today, I I got my eyebrows waxed and did not flinch. Let's see how much. <laughs> let's see how much Brian cried. Right here, right here. Oh God. Right there. Oh my God. <laughs> Guys, I, I'm really nervous to do this. Uh, <laughs> uh, what is that? What is it making that noise? Why is it making that sound? <laughs> okay. So she's, Why is she's that putting smell? the paper. Okay. Oh, she's about to put the paper on him. Oh, uh, does do I need to do anything before I put this on? <laughs> Just breathe. <laughs> Do I need to put any? Do you need to like water it or something? Um, <laughs> no, that'll I'm make it really bad. It just says warm it up, separate the wax strips, and speak up into the microphone. We can hear her. Um, smooth it on in the direction of the hair growth. So there's hair everywhere. <laughs> Which direction does your hair grow? It's going down south, okay. I guess. Okay. Okay. Going down south. So I going guess. down. Lower, lower, lower. <laughs> Not there. Where? Right, okay. right here. Just do it. Oh. That's not your chest, by the way. That's your stomach. <laughs> oh <my> okay. <gosh. sighs> okay, I'm putting the. Oh, no. oh, I gotta, I gotta bite down on something. <laughs> I gotta bite down on something. Okay. No, give me something. Oh. <laughs> Are you gonna do it fast or hard? Guys, nothing has even happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> just okay, calm down. What? I have to do it fast. Okay. No. Ready? <laughs> 
of it gone i think oh another strip. You... no that's fine we did do it again. no we did what we needed to do that was oh, enough blame. oh my goodness uh, get more double the would you like the finishing oil on is there? it gonna yes, burn yes it helped no it helps it it's soothing it's very soothing oh is it that's gonna burn? hilarious it oh my gosh i'm sweating for you me dude. too oh, <laughs> <I'm> not... <laughs> goodness no it's soothing wow that was amazing she's, she's applying it like the good wife that she is yes and she's oh having a great time God. while doing it what a <laughs> champ everybody oh, give it up for joanna that is disgusting seriously oh, what a what Lord. a trooper listeners i'm looking at the 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 sticky strip. thing with all the hairs it is that it might be the most grossest thing i've ever seen <laughs> Hair does not belong on a strip. It belongs on a body. Okay. <laughs> All right. Get this oh, out. Oh, that face. was oh. fantastic. Oh my. Thank you guys so much for subscribing so thank, you can thank, watch this yes. magical moment. Thank you, Joanna, for your help today. Yes, thank yes. you. Yes. Joanna. For any of your waxing needs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call you when we need you. <laughs> oh my lordy, Lou! Wow. Oh. That, was that was fantastic. Epic. Actually, it wasn't. I'm not gonna. It, it was the anticipation. The anticipation was yeah. like, yeah. Oh. But once it was done, it wasn't that bad. That was awesome. I'm just watch. surprised it took off that much hair. I was like, oh god. <laughs> that's like. Ooh. That's like some kid's peach fuzz, you know. Oh my Ooh. gosh, that was hilarious. All I... right, let's move on. I'm so glad that happened. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, we should come up with another milestone at a at a different time. Yes. Well, but when once we, reach we double. 50, Shh. If no, 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 no. If we do fifty, then I'll do something. I'll, I'll no. Once we double, we gotta double. We gotta we double just, it, and don't say do we're cheap. subscriber. All right, we'll Count. double it then. Once we double our subscribers, then we'll do the next stunt. Okay. Yeah. Let's have yeah. Once works. it's doubled, it'll stunt. be next. It'll be Katie. <laughs> We'll go down. Yes, we'll go down yes. in age. So Katie's got to shave a whole eyebrow off. No, I am proud of Whoa, these babies. That would be no, awful. I, I refuse. I refuse. I go out in public. <laughs> and she works at an elementary school now. She can't be doing Mrs. stuff like that. Ash, why do you look hideous? <laughs> no. Well, Timmy Tantrum, let me tell you a story. Did you subscribe? Actually, <laughs> Yeah, oh so we'll gosh. figure out something at a later date uh, whenever we double our subscriber count for Katie to do something next. So if you guys do not know, uh, in our sibling uh, tier, Brian is the eldest, Katie is the middle child, and I am the youngest. So she will be next to be sacrificed on the chopping so block. I am still sweating over Brian. Oh my, my that glasses was, that are was epic. up. Honestly, oh it, just the anticipation and watching <laughs> you get it stuck to your chest, that that was hilarious. <laughs> wow, that was epic. All right, but we we yes. have to move on, friends. We have we more, need to move on. more to come. All right, next we are in the chunk. So now we will be going into, uh, Katie will be asking us Nicktoon questions. And we will be trying to guess. Brian and I will try to guess which Nicktoon the quote resides from. Yes. And so here's how it's going to work. And originally I told uh, you guys that there would be um, three questions each. There are actually four. I don't know how to count. I can't count. Uh, and so how this is going to work is we're just going to go back and forth. Uh, these are multiple choice questions. Since Brian has been uh, um, <laughs> mutilated, I don't know. Yes, um, I think the the playing field is a little even now. Yeah, <laughs> I think the the playing field is a little even now. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So this is mostly '90s and early 2000s Nick tunes. All right. And so uh, we're gonna go back and forth since Brian 
was mutilated just now. He can choose whether to go first or second. Now, there are four questions for each of you, plus a bonus round with no hints. I thought you said three. So, were you listening a second ago? You said three questions. <gasps> She w I literally fun. said I told you guys three, but I there were four because I can't count. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I wasn't there's listening. four. There, <laughs> there are four questions plus a bonus round with no <coughs> hints. So Brian, you can choose whether you want to go first or second. I'll go first. Why not? Yeah. Okay. So. <coughs> Question number one for Brian: A cookie tastes better when it's someone else's. Is it A, cat dog, B, fairly odd parents, C, Doug, or D, Rugrats? Uh, I'm gonna go with D, Rugrats. That is correct. D, yeah. Rugrats. Yeah, Angelica was cookie. all about them cookies. Cookie, 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 cookie. cookie. Yeah, she was always <laughs> yeah. stealing the baby's cookies too. Angelica, yes. say daddy. Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this next question is for Ileana. Let's see how much she pays a paid attention to the shows that she liked. Actually, Dad, I want to be an astronaut. Is that A, Awe of Real Monsters, B, Danny Phantom, C, Rocco's Modern Life, or D, Rocket Power? Uh, I'll go with B, Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom is correct! Woohoo! Yeah! He wants to be an astronaut. Okay, so far you're both tied with one point each. Danny Astronaut really... I mean, Danny Astronaut. Dan Danny <laughs> Phantom really... He really wanted to be an astronaut? Was that yeah. legit? That is uh, that is canon. That yeah. is legit. Did, did he ever accomplish his dream? Is what I want to know. Uh, I do not uh, believe no. so. No, actually, later bad. later in the show, he... Because then he'd be a like, space ghost. Yeah, that's a song. Um, <clears throat> no, actually, what happens in a Danny Phantom movie, he, like, somehow gets cloned and turns evil, and the old Danny dies. Yeah. Yeah, doesn't some, he, something weird like that. up in the burger place, trying to save some, everybody? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spiritual. All right. <laughs> yes. So... This next question is for Brian. <clears throat> Rock on with your bad self. Is that from As Told by Ginger, The Angry Beavers, Rocket Power, or Hey Arnold? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh... I'm thinking two of them, but I can't. You know what? I'm going to go. I'm down to two. Um, can you give, can you, give me the choices again? Sure. As told by Ginger. It's not that one. Angry Beavers. It might Rocket be Angry Power, Beavers. It's not Rocket, Rocket Power. Rocket Power or Hey Arnold. It's either Angry Beavers or Hey Arnold. Um, rock on with your bad self. Um, you know, I'm going to go Hey Arnold. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to go with that. Hey, Arnold is incorrect. Whoa! Oh. What? It's actually rocket power. Boogity, 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 boogity. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Thought it was yeah. either that or Hey, Arnold. Yeah. Okay, so this one is admittedly very easy. Woo. I will say it's very easy. Yeah, like, these aren't even, like, memorable quotes from these shows. What the heck, man? Well, that's what I said. You have to pay attention to the, um, what's the doodle? The choices. What? What's the doodles? Okay. The, the choices. All right. Wake me up when I care. Is that SpongeBob SquarePants, Kablam, Rugrats, or Jimmy Neutron? I'm going to say A, SpongeBob. That is correct. Wake Woo! me up when I what? care. That's yeah, definitely oh. that must be Squidward. I was that trying is... to think, like, I can't imagine SpongeBob saying that. It's too, like, no, dark no, no, and. No, 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 no. No, for that, that, him. That, All right. Wake so, me up when I care. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's right. All right. Now, Brian, this should be an easy one for you. This is a oh, throwback, okay. but it is an oldie but a goodie. 
Okay. Oh man, I'm giving away too much. I gotta stop. <laughs> that's that's too much information. But it is pretty easy. Wow, people downtown sure are friendly. Oh, hey Arnold Dunn. Yeah, you know easy. that one. I already got yeah, that, yeah, one. that one. A piece of cake. That's when they dressed right. up they're, as fruits yeah, and went fruits, downtown. Yeah. They're in the play for Helga. <laughs> yeah. My play is ruined. <laughs> she was like about to go mental. So, she was so banging her head on a yeah. light. <laughs> yes. And yes. poor Phoebe was like in, you know, totally sympathizing with her. What a good friend Phoebe is. Goodness. She really is the best. She is what made me love the name Phoebe. I love the name Phoebe. People think, oh, you like that name because of friends. I'm like, screw friends. It's because of Hey Arnold. I'm going to be honest. Phoebe is like the worst name to name a child because then you're like Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe the Feeble. You know, like no, the worst the... name to name a girl, in my opinion, and I'm not, I'm not hating on all the Lindas out there, but you've got like a two-year-old. Oh, what's your child's name, Linda? What do you? What did she come out with? Like a a like a pantsuit and a briefcase? <laughs> like Linda. <laughs> Linda. My name is Linda. My name is. She sounds Linda. like that straight out. Jeez. Yeah, that's. I'll that's take her my very coffee first decaf. Yeah, that's, Linda. that's her first sentence. Linda. All right, so. Lynn. Lynn. All right, <laughs> here we go. This one is for Ileana. All right. And this, one, this one's hard, so you need to pay attention. Ah! So it, it, you need to look at the context, okay? You know what? I really don't care about textbooks or chess. I like rock and roll. Is that Rugrats? Doug? The Wild Thornberries, or Rocco's Modern Life. Just look at the context, man. That's what I always do. Context clues. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, say the quote one more time. You know what? I really don't care about textbooks or chess. I like rock and roll. Textbooks or chess. I like rock and roll. Mm. Do you need the choices again? No, I wrote them down. Um, oh, I really don't know any of these shows well enough. Or remember them, at least. You know, like, I watched all of them. But, ugh, gosh. I'm gonna go... B, Doug. That is incorrect. No. It, is, no. it is the Wild Thornberries. Aww. That is a quote but from Debbie. And you know, the more that the the older I get, the more I can totally understand Debbie. Yeah, could, I bet you could can. We could hang. We could hang. We could hang. <laughs> um, all uh, right. I should so, have known that too by her headphones all the time. Yes. Okay. So, um, I'm going to give Brian. You ready? We had two more yes. questions before the bonus, right? Yeah, or there's one. one there's one question each for you. Yeah, okay. All right. So, these are these are both pretty simple. Pretty simple. In fact, I'm not even they're so simple I'm not going to give you any choices. This one's rather long. This one's for Brian. Hi. I'd like 3 double cheeseburgers, one all the way, one no pickles, one no onions, a fish a fish sandwich, four large fries and four grape sodas. Well, how do you get a salad from the salad bar? <laughs> One salad from the salad yes. bar. Yes. <laughs> That's Doug, pilot yes. episode. <laughs> yes, oh. you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I don't right. understand what you're saying. Yeah, We're hungry. When... We're starving. <laughs> <laughs> there, Doug uh, just moved to Bluffington, and he's trying to order food from the Honker Burger, and Skeeter sees him in peril, and uh, he orders for him. Doug orders like any normal person would. And the person yeah. that is looking at him like, what the heck are you talking about? He's, Doug freaks out. It's like, like everybody's looking at him like, we're starving. We just need food. And then Skeeter like gives him the, like tells him like this low down hipster order. Like, yo, this one needs like more cow. This one needs like more moo. And it's like, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Anyways, you had to be there. Shut up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yes. All right. Okay, so so here's your last here's your last uh, 
open air one with no with no hints, Ileana. And remember, take take the quote in context. <clears throat> Don't worry, cat. They're not laughing with you. They're they're laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. What cat is it, dog. Ileana? Yes, it is cat dog. Yeah. Well, you said cat, and then Brian yeah. did the laugh, and I'm like, oh, duh. That's dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I loved. I loved. Loved dog so much. You know, in retrospect, Cat Dog was a. It was a weird show when we watched it back in the day, but it is an even weirder show going it back to it so now. It was so weird. But my favorite. That show had the worst ending. It is it really bizarre. Did. It is. Didn't the they find their mom or something like that? But it wasn't really their mom or dad. Yeah, they were it like. Was, I like mean, just thinking about that show the, just like freaks my mind. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. They're not even they and they just live there. They just stay there. Yeah. They don't really go weird. back to their fish bone home. Oh, well, they even, just okay. Do you guys remember that uh, Doug movie too, where like he hides the fish monster? Yeah. 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 That was so weird. That, I love that Melville. Movie. That, that was, I love that movie. That one's not as weird. That one at least has got. It's normal, but I it remember just... both of those like so distinctively from like early two thousand being just so weird. No, I just like I just don't understand why Cat Dog. To me, I just don't understand it. Why would they want to go live in a different dimension with their like their weird mother and father who aren't really their mother and father and live in a cave for the rest of their existence? And like this is how this ends. Yeah. They don't go back home and mess with Winslow some more. I just, I like, I hated it. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm looking back at their parents now. So weird. Like it was like a, like a weird little nose creature thing. And then this giant other thing. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, why, 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 why can't they just have like some normal ending? Like where their mothers were cats and dogs that I don't know. fell in love and, had a beautiful baby conjoined twins no, so weird and then i'm looking at uh also Doug. conjoined twin species you know i don't i don't know i don't know all right you guys ready for this final question Yeesh. all right here's here's what's going to happen i'm going to read it and you guys have to say i'm going to give you guys a word to say uh brian is going to say doug Okay. Ileana is going to say, um, Timmy. Timmy. Yes. So Doug. Timmer! Tim Tim Timmer! Wrong cartoon! <laughs> Timmer! Okay. All right. So this one is a toughie. It is tough. Now, keep in, go keep in mind, you guys are tied. You guys are tied. If we you have both missed one question and yes, got the rest correct. If you can't get this question, then there is a sudden death round. Sudden death. All right? So, this one's difficult. So, think about our previous episode. Urethra! I found something! Doug. Doug. What is it? I'm gonna go Angry Beavers. It is Angry Beavers. Oh. Urethra! I found something! <laughs> How did they get away with that? that? Oh my goodness! Insane. Only oh. Katie would pick the one show that snuck into the top ten of the yeah, Nickelodeon. I should have you know. known. But, but how did they the, get away with saying I don't know, but how, on a kids' for TV real? show? As, what? Especially uh, a quote like that. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Goodness for a second, gracious. I thought it was Rocco. I really thought it was yeah. Rocco for well, a second. Well, you know. And Rocco's not any better. He worked at a uh, a phone service place. I'm not going to say what kind of phone service place, but, you know, a rather uh, tongue-in-cheek phone place. Uh, oh, a place get where you go that? if you need companionship, kind of? Yes, yes. Oh, if okay. you need a friend to talk to you of sorts. And so, yeah, <laughs> 90s Nickelodeon was chock full of that kind of thing. Well, even, so, like, uh, was that Rocco's Modern Life where um, – they had the frog couple next door, and the like. Yes. The, the wife was trying to like get it on with Rocco yeah, behind yeah, her yeah, husband's yeah. back. It's like, oh, what on earth yeah. is this in child's cartoon like programming? Mm -hmm. Yep. 
so bizarre. I think, I think that episode was banned. Um, I don't think it it may be aired once and then it was banned. Yikes. Um, they I mean, I, I see why. Yeah. All right. So you're champion tonight. What a warrior. We ripped off his hairs and he still managed to come <laughs> out on top. Today's winner is Brian. Ooh. Bing, 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 bing. Come on, nematodes. Yeah. <laughs> come on, you dang nematodes. <laughs> wow. What a trooper. Woo. Awesome. Oh. Thank you guys oh. so much for uh, subscribing to Bump That. We really appreciate every viewer, listener that we receive. Um, if you guys did not know, we are uploaded on YouTube and Spotify. So if you would like to just listen to the audio version on Spotify, it's there for your listening needs. Uh, I will try and upload a clip of Brian's hair removal into the YouTube video. So go check that out. Um, just thank you guys so much for being a part of this. It's been a lot of fun. This and is my big break. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, thank you guys for watching this week's episode. We will see you guys next week. Uh, what we're going to be doing for the chunk next week it will be deter will be determined at a later date. So we'll just see you guys next week. And thank you guys so much for listening. Uh, and we will see you all next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>